I'm Jimmy Johnson. This is Bullford 82. Howdy! Welcome back to Bullford 82. Today we're working on Betty. <clears throat> Betty is getting a much needed upgrade to the rear suspension. Um, today what we're going to be doing is we're going to remove basically the leaf springs I have in here, the lift blocks, and we're going to be removing the old shackles and shackle hangers. And I have a kit from Sky Off-Road Design. We're going to put a uh, shackle flip kit in Plus the shackles that I ordered with the kit are another inch drop, so we should get about five and a half inches of drop with factory springs, or not drop, but lift. Um, and then I have a factory set of springs that we're gonna modify a little bit and put under my existing main leaf. I'll explain more about that here in a little bit. So basically what we're gonna have to do is we need to jack this thing up, get the uh, frame up on a, a uh, couple of big stands, a couple of Harbor Freight collapsers, and uh, get the tires off with the rear axle droop, and we'll start removing the uh, springs, and then uh, we'll move into the uh, shackle part. I want to start with the springs first, get, so, get those situated, and then uh, we'll start tackling getting the old hangers out. Now, the problem that I'm going to have is this has a rear fuel tank, and I run only the rear fuel tank. I have a big 38 gallon fuel tank back here. And the problem I'm gonna run into is getting the bolts in and holding them to tighten them down on the new uh, shackle hangers. So that is one issue we're gonna have. Luckily, um, I've got maybe about a quarter tank of diesel. So we, and I've got a couple of cans we can probably drain it into if we need to, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and not drop the tank, but I have a feeling we're gonna have to, which means dropping my trailer hitch. So anyways, I'm gonna get this thing up on the stands. I'll get the wheels off, get the axle drooped, and uh, we'll meet underneath and see what we need. I might have to, well, I'm gonna have to run back to the house and grab my car. That's one thing. Um, so we might need some sockets and whatnot because I could be missing stuff, but we'll find out. All right, here's what we're looking like. Got my jack extensions on there. The plan of attack. The passenger side is gonna be a little tricky. And the reason why, just because of the exhaust. And I think the simplest solution for right now is to cut it off here. And then what we'll do is, um, actually, you know what, I'm almost thinking Hmm. Yeah, well, I think what we'll do is we'll cut it off. Once we get the spring out of here, we'll cut this off and then we'll leave that like that. It'll be out of the way of the springs. Probably what we'll have to do is run the pipe along here, along our trailer hitch, and then have it go out the back, which actually would be fine with me because that just means, you know, more of an FU to tailgaters. Yeah, so you can see I've got a lift block here. This is a three and a half inch lift block. And then right here is the two inch add leaf, which basically adds another overload spring. And I'll tell you what, you know, you can haul a decent amount of firewood back here without this thing squatting. But the ride is compromised. The normal spring pack would be uh, on this truck, it had this main leaf, and this leaf. This is one I added, it would have this one. So it'd have one, two, three, four springs. But I added 
this one here that doesn't have a slider on it. I added that one from another two-wheel drive uh, truck. And then um, I did that when this was two-wheel drive. As you can see, now it's a four-wheel. Um, I did it was a two-wheel drive, and I just did it to have a little extra load capacity, and then I got rid of the overload here. And then I had airbags. Um, so, you know, it, it did pretty good. rode really good, and it, uh, you know, hauled a decent amount of stuff. You'll have to excuse the creaking barn doors and the fan noise. I need the airflow, and we're in a barn. So this is one of two uh, springs that I got for this truck. This came from a two-wheel drive, short bed, short box, 94 F-150. <clears throat> and the idea with this was to um, lop the eyelets off. First I was thinking I was going to put the whole pack in there and then do the drop shackle kit. Um, but here's what we're going to do. So let's see, we got one, two, three, four, four leaves. We have a, um, what do you call this? Overload. We need the overload because I do, I do haul stuff in this and tow and whatnot. So we definitely want to have the overload. Plus it gives it a fighting chance on axle wrap, but you know, whatever. So now uh, here's the plan. This is what I'm going to do. Um, we're going to lob the ends off, so we're gonna, we got a chop saw, which is right here. And I just realized they have one too, so we'll use either one. Um, so we're going to lob the ends off. We're going to take the center, the centering bolt has to come out. We might have to cut it off too, by the way. Um, so this will come out, and then we're going to take these, and we're going to put them under the main leaf spring that has... The original eyelets but it has poly bushings in it so I'll put this under my existing main leaf and then everything else that is there now is set aside so we'll have a a five leaf spring pack an overload and then uh, this leaf here I want to actually measure this because I want to make it so that it will support even more of the uh, main leaf but giving it some room so everything can kind of move around what size is that now? Well, that's not going to be a 19, I can tell you that much right now. 7 eighths. I mean, yeah, a little bit of lube wouldn't hurt. Oh, you know what? Probably would help to have a strong battery. that for later. Yeah. Biggest problem with blocks. Oh yeah, this one was starting to wear. These can crack over time. And uh, they also like to spit out, also. Oh, look at all that dirt. <laughs> oh, she's been in there a minute. This is the uh, bolt that gets all of the attention when it comes to road grind. And you know what? It's not even on there square. These are harbor freight sockets, not too worried about it. Seven eighths was not quite cutting it. 
22 millimeter fits better than a 7 8. So, guess what we're using? What's nice is they got a bunch of quads on this property, so I just hopped on one of their Hondas and hightailed it back here. There we go. Yeah. I don't know if you guys can see that mount is flexing just for me doing this. I'm gonna go around and see if they got some WD-40. Uh, all the barn doors over there shut. Great. Well, ran back to the house, got my car <laughs> so I can run and put back if I need stuff. Got some WD-40 here. You know, we'll just soak all that while we're here. quite a bit. Yeah. Oh, hey, that was nice. That bolt's in good shape. This is the original bolt to this truck. Look at it. It's 40 years old. bushings look pretty good we're just gonna lube them up I'll show you I want to try and get that pin out of there if not we'll just leave it um, but yeah so this yeah we'll, we'll just leave it in there it doesn't really squeak I don't mind a little bit of squeak out of this truck it's an off-road truck so who cares um, but I'm gonna show you why I wanted to use this instead of the factory bushings so let's get this spring out of here. Oh. oh, it is heavy. So I don't know if you can tell. So you think you can tell. Well, that's a Pink Floyd reference. That one's a little pushed down a little bit. Check out this other side. So you see how kind of squished down she is? Well, we don't need that anymore. So first of all, what I want to do is I want to mark where I want to cut these springs. And I think it's looking like I want to cut them somewhere right along here. tubes I got the ends cut off I had you got to flip it on its side and cut it this way it cuts a lot easier and nicer my generator um, it's not quite got the oomph for that um, or well it could just be my Harbor Freight chop so I don't know um, but anyways I used the other one over there and I got the ends cut off we need to get the um, I need to get a flapper disc on here and just kind of grind down the corners.
was that? That a leaf I put in there. Man. Yeah. Okay. A little dry. So, make sure we don't have any dirt in between stuff. We got that guy. We got that one. And this one. That one. This is what used to be the main leaf for the spring pack. So here we have this is basically a factory 94 F 150 spring pack, and then we'll take our original and our spring from our 82. This one I think I'm going to clean up a little bit. Cool, look at that. We have overload. We have the first spring. The two metal. We have a main leaf with the ends cut off. See how much more support we have closer to the eyelet. And then we have the factory 82 top leaf. And same thing right here. We got a little more support on the eyelet. So instead of having an overload and then basically a second overload and then your main springs, we'll have basically just a five leaf pack with the overload. And then since we're getting rid of the blocks, um, let me show you what we got going on here. And these are Really heavy duty. So what we'll have is this will come off our frame. That shackle will hang from here and come down to here. And that is where we're gonna get our, our new lift. So shackle points up right now. And then the spring goes up here. We're basically gonna flip that. Be like that. Look at how much how much more beefier that is. Now, you're wondering, hey, Jimmy, you said this is a two-wheel drive truck. Don't you have two-wheel drive springs? You're right, I do. I have a solution for that problem. Straight. I probably could have cut this one in a little bit shorter, but I think we'll be fine. Cool, look at that. We have a beefy spring pack. Yep. 523. A couple more hours and it's quitting time. So I'm going to get the other leaf spring out. We'll, uh, We'll go ahead and uh, start taking it apart. So far we have one built spring ready to rock. Yeah, I'm going to get the other one out and then uh, we'll start working. It's not the heat that will get you, it's the humidity. I'm hammering and hammering and hammering and the spring won't come out. Hey Jimmy, there's a bolt still on it. I left the shackle on the uh, thing. I couldn't get the bolt loose. I barely got this end loose. That was whew, that was a fight. So same thing on this. I'm gonna get this top leaf out, set it aside. We'll get our other spring pack, 
we'll lob the ends off and then um, we'll put it back together and we'll get them set aside in the truck and then tomorrow we'll come in and I'm going to cut the hangers out. Um, we may pull the fuel tank so we're going to have to drain that. Early I thought it would be slick and take one of those beers and just knock it on that. It just shot all the beer and left all the foam in there. We'll do that a little bit later. And then we don't need any of this. Oh, my back is getting sore, I'll tell you that. I need some more beer. Dang it, tubes. <sighs> yeah. change your guys' battery out. So I'm over here trying to figure out how long I need to make this one so that it's equal to the other side. I just found an easy solution. Yep. Gotta be good. I'm gonna go cut these.
the long end of your overload goes towards the goes towards the long end of your um, release bridge. Oh yeah, it'd be nice to get some new pads. Didn't even think about it. Didn't even think about it. Oh, generator. Give her the all leaf spring rejuvenation spray. Probably could cut that a little bit further down, but I think I'll live with that. Cool. I'm going to wire wheel it, brake clean it, and uh, she's ready for install. Well, as you can tell, I'm a filthy mess. Just getting the springs out, modifying them, building them. I'm dirty. I stink. Um, our work is done for today. Tomorrow we're going to come back and we're going to cut the exhaust, we're going to rip the hangers out and start fitting up our new hangers and uh, getting our springs put in and basically put back together. So links down below also. Check those out. Subscribe if you haven't already and uh, grab yourself some water and hydrate and get ready for the next video. I think I'm going to have Probably two more parts to this. Yeah, two more parts to this video. Next part will be the hanger and getting all the springs and everything put back in. And then our last one will be the test drive and first impressions of everything. And uh, yeah, that'll be that'll be it. Hmm. Found a cut. <laughs>